हेलो एवरी वन आई एम स्नेहा आर बुरना से असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ सरस्वती कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग खारगर एंड टुडे वी आर कवरिंग विद द टॉपिक दैट इज स्टिक डायग्राम एंड लेआउट डिजाइनिंग फ्रॉम वी एल एस आई डिजाइन सब्जेक्ट फॉर स्टिक डायग्राम एंड लेआउट डिजाइनिंग बेसिकली स्टिक डायग्राम इज अ स्केलेटल स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ यूर सर्किट डिजाइनिंग स्टेटिस सिमोस लॉजिक डिजाइन and then after drawing the stick diagram we can forward it to uh, to the layout uh, formation and layout is necessary for the fabrication process of the uh, respective circuit so we are going to start with the cmos inverter structure in case of cmos inverter structure the static logic says of this total cmos uh, inverter that when one p mos p b mosfet is connected in series with n mosfet and its source is connected source of p mos is connected with the drain of n mos at the same time drain of p mos is connected to the vdd supply and source of n mos is connected to the vss supply if we provide the same input to the p mosfet uh, to uh, mosfet then a will be provided as a input and output is nothing but the a bar that is inversion of this provided input now how to draw the stick diagram there are certain combinations for drawing the stick diagram that is for drawing the metal vss line and vdd line should be of a blue color vss line and vdd line should be of blue colored and contacts are represented by the cross symbol vss and vdd contacts are represented by the cross symbol now we can draw the p diffusion p diffusion line that is p for p mos p mosfet creation by yellow color or by brown color this should be by yellow or brown then for and diffusion we need green color that is and diffusion we are connecting this with the vss that is by green color stick and for obtaining the gate when polysilicon material is cutting any kind of diffusion layer then the mosfet is formed if it is cutting for p type of diffusion then p mos is formed when it is cutting n type of diffusion then n mosfet is formed the combined combination of these two as we need the same input to the both of the gates this will be the gate terminal polysilicon will be the receiving uh, receiving uh, polysilicon will be receiving the input and a will be provided at this particular point now to get the output to get the output two more sticks are connected with the metal which will be providing you the output so the stick diagram of basic cmos inverter static logic design is done now this from this stick diagram from this stick diagram we can design the layout by using lambda design rules lambda design rules basically giving the distance of separation between two layers either it could be n diffusion or it could be p diffusion or with the metal layer or with the polysilicon layer or the size of contacts how it should be the lambda or micron based there are two methods in case of lambda rule again as we have drawn here vdd line for that we have to draw one solid structure of horizontal line horizontal line structure will be representing the metal and this will be provided with the vdd the second part is second horizontal metallic structure solid lines this will be receiving vss input now this two will be designed as a met at, as the metal tracks vss vss and vdd now the p diffusion and n diffusion the width of this total tracks 
should be greater than thrice lambda should be greater than thrice lambda now we have to draw the p diffusion area this one so p diffusion area i am drawing over here is having the width of 4 lambda near about because we need that uh, greater than 2 lambda now the end diffusion area we are again drawing the with the green symbol now for pre p diffusion area it will be representing like this for end diffusion area it will be representing the, like solid slant lines this is p diffusion area this is end diffusion area again now this this particular thing is done now we need polysilicon to cut this two areas so by taking two lambda width of this polysilicon polysilicon should be second side slant by cutting this with the polysilicon we obtain two gates we obtain two gates one is for p mosfet and another one is for n mosfet make sure the distance of separation between these two should be greater than 2 lambda now connect this two terminals with each other with the polysilicon to which input is provided to which input is provided now second thing is we have to obtain the metallic terminal through this and metallic terminal through this is obtained for taking the output terminal metallic terminal is obtained for taking the output terminal over here contact should be maintained now the contact side should be near about 2 lambda 2 by 2 lambda each contact should be having the size of 2 lambda and it should be having certain overhang space contacts are needed when the two separate type of types of materials are connected together so here will be again contact will be needed here again there will be 